In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the items under the debug menu. Make sure that the ICD and prototyping board are plugged in. Start the debugger by clicking on the Enable button or by selecting the debugger in the Enable drop-down menu. The status can be seen in the bottom right. Ensure that the target is ready by clicking on the reset button. The step over button will cause a line of C code to be executed. The highlighted line has not been executed but is the line that is about to be executed. Notice that stepping over line 8 executed the entire function. In this example, pressing the button on the board will cause the debugger to stop because the function was terminated. Hover over a variable to see that variable's value. Variable values can also be seen from the Watches tab. To add a variable to the watch list, enter the variable name or select it from the list and then click on the green plus button. Notice that it will show when the variable's value changes. Click on the Step Into button to step into a function. The Run button will run the program. The Halt button will halt execution. Notice that the program stopped on the line where it is waiting for a button press. To set a breakpoint, double-click in the gutter on the line that you wish to add the breakpoint to. You can also right-click in the gutter and select Add Breakpoint. A breakpoint can be removed by double-clicking in the gutter again or by selecting Remove Breakpoint. Click on the Run button and press the button on the board. The debugger will now stop on the breakpoint. C slash ASM list will bring up a list file that shows each C source line and the associated assembly code generated for the line. Notice that one assembly instruction was already executed for the next line. This is another side effect of the ICD debugger. Sometimes breakpoints slip by one ASM instruction. When the list file is the selected window, clicking on the step over button will execute one assembly instruction per click instead of one entire C line. Disable the debugger by clicking on the disable button. Let's look at another example. Add a watch for the DC variable. Stepping over line 9 results in the expected value of 16. Stepping over line 10 will not produce the expected value of negative 6 because the int data type is not signed. The modular arithmetic works like a car odometer when the car is in reverse only in binary. For example, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00 1 minus 1 is 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00. Subtract another one and you get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Reset and step up to line 9. Click on the eval tab. This pane allows a one-time expression evaluation. Type A plus B and hit enter to calculate the result. The complete expression may also be put in the watch pane as well. Enter B equals 10. This expression will actually change the value of B. Notice that stepping over line 9 will cause the value of C to be calculated with the new value of B. Debug windows will display a list of the tabs in the debug area. Click on an option to open up the tab.
the Brakes tab will show information about a brake point. Snapshot is for recording various debugging information. You can select the information to record and where it will be saved. Configure will open up the Debug Configure tab. These settings can be changed by clicking on the value. Notice that these settings can be saved. There is a button for reloading the target firmware and for running ICD diagnostics. When you are done using the debugger, click on the Disable button. Visit ccsinfo.com for more information about the easy-to-use CCSC compiler IDE and for purchasing options.